Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Ghadaybiyah Palace today. The two leaders reviewed topics of positive impact on the national economy including the promotion of the tourism sector so as to constitute an added value. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also reviewed issues related to plans to develop the work environment. They highlighted the government's continuous programs aimed at improving the work environment for the citizens and residents through strengthening it by regulations that are in line with international standards and providing protection and guarantees for expatriate workers in order to be motivating elements and contribute to stimulating investments. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Ghadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the royal speech of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the anniversary of the National Action Charter. His Royal Highness noted Bahrain's national gains and cultural achievements under the leadership of His Majesty the King, wishing His Majesty and the Bahraini people many happy returns. The cabinet recalled the achievements of the former ruler of Bahrain, the late His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and his outstanding contributions, which laid the foundation for Bahrain's development in all fields, which continued in the era of the late His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa and increased in the era of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister noted the inauguration of the late His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa Mosque, which was built to commemorate the name of the deceased upon His Majesty the King's directives. 
His Royal Highness urged to speed up implementing and completing services and development projects allocated a location for the new health center in Badia and the uh, Sada project in Muharraq as well as the development of the old Muharraq market. The Prime Minister directed to exercise public streets to reflect Bahrain's urban development and progress and continuing developing public transport bus stops with modern designs that reflect the development of public transportation. The cabinet approved introducing a wage protection system that requires employers to transfer workers' wages in private companies to banks rather than paying them in cash. The procedure should be done gradually according to the size of the establishment and in consultation with Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The system will take effect in May of this year. The cabinet instructed the Minister of Labor and Social Development to issue the necessary measures. The cabinet approved increasing the punishment for publishing pictures or comments related to the private lives of families or individuals. It also approved a draft law amending the penal code to impose a penalty of imprisonment for at least three months and no more than one year and a fine for at least 100 Bahraini dinars and no more than 5,000 Bahraini dinars. 500 Bahraini dinars. The cabinet reviewed the kingdom's implemented and under-implemented agreements, treaties and memorandums of cooperation with brotherly and friendly countries and regional and international organizations. It also reviewed the implementation of projects and initiatives between the government authorities, agencies and United Nations bodies. The cabinet also approved a draft law ratifying the amended and uh, supplemented protocol of air services agreement between the governments of Bahrain and the Philippines signed on April 13, 2017. A proposal of placing guidance signs that simulate some disabilities has been approved. The cabinet approved the government's response to the proposal of establishing a new school in Hunainia and a proposal on an assistant teacher position. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs and the chairman of the Royal Charity Organization, the RCO Board of Trustees, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, RCO, held yesterday its annual celebration. The annual celebration is in recognition of the efforts exerted by the executive management and the staff members in implementing the direct directives of His Majesty the King and in providing the different kind of care to all families affiliated with the RCO. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the royal and parental care of the RCO Honorary President, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, underscoring His Majesty's keenness to provide comprehensive services and care to all RCO families to ensure a recent and stable life for all. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that His Majesty's support had a great impact on the development of charity work inside and outside Bahrain, with achieving the successes reached by the RCO. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also lauded the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also extended the greetings of His Majesty the King to all the members of the RCO Board of Trustees and staff, commending on their efforts and vital role in the service of orphans and widows. Sheikh Nasr also praised the community partnership and constructive cooperation of different national institutions and companies. During the ceremony, His Highness Sheikh Nasr honored the Employee of the Year and the employees who achieved certificates of excellence and appreciation during 2017. For his part, RCO Secretary General Dr. Mustafa Sayyid expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King and His Highness Sheikh Nasser for the precious trust and great support provided to the organization. He also lauded the efforts exerted by the RCO staff in implementing the directives of His Majesty the King and providing the different comprehensive care to Bahraini orphans. During the ceremony, a film was screened about the services of the RCO and staff member Ahmed Jassim gave a speech on behalf of all employees. A short film entitled Passenger, produced by the RCO, was played.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pride in the achievements of Bahraini falconers who participated in the Fakhr Al Ajyal Pride of the Generations Championship for Falconry, which was held in Abu Dhabi, the UAE. His Highness affirmed that the achievement is a result of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's support to traditional sports. He also hailed the wide participation from all Gulf countries in the competition. His Highness lauded the efforts and uh, follow-up of uh, the Chairman of the Traditional Sports Committee, Khalifa Abdullah al Good, and the members of the committee, wishing everyone further success. The 13th edition of the Spring of Culture 2018 was launched yesterday, offering Bahrain's audience a variety of choices from all over the world and activating the local cultural landscape over the festival's two months. In a press conference, the announcement was made by the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the BACA, the Economic Development Board, the EDB, the Sheikh Ibrahim bin Mohammed Al Khalifa Center for Culture and Research in collaboration with the Al Barah Art Gallery and La Fontaine Art Center of Contemporary Art at the Bahrain Fort Site Museum. The conference was held in the presence of the President of the BACA, Sheikh Hamay bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, EDB Chief Executive Khad Ramehi, and a number of diplomats and ambassadors in Bahrain, as well as a number of sponsors of the Spring of Culture and members of the media. The event is part of the BACA's long, year long celebration of Maharak's selection as the 2018 capital of Islamic culture. The various events and activities of the festival are designed to engage all segments of society from arts and crafts exhibitions to intellectual lectures and talks, poetry readings music and song concerts and theatrical performances. Bahrain Economic Development Board gathers investors in Bahrain in a reception to celebrate with them a record year for inward investment in 2017 in line within its mandate to act as a catalyst for economic growth. More in this report with Hib Abdel Ghaffar. Bahrain Economic Development Board celebrates with its investors a record year for inward investment in 2017, having attracted 71 new companies to Bahrain, with investments amounting to 733 million US dollars, expected to increase job creation by those companies by up to 72 percent, generating more than 2,800 local jobs over the next three years. We are seeing record numbers being generated across jobs, across numbers of companies, across dollars of, of direct investment into the country. It's great news and it is really down to the efforts not only of the Economic Development Board, but the trust and confidence of our investors and frankly the government and the, uh, the regulation that we have seen enhanced over 2017 that has encouraged investors to choose Bahrain as their location for their investment in the GCC. The record number of investments in 2017 represents a significant increase of 161 percent compared to 2016, which saw 281 million U.S. dollars in investments from 40 companies. We support uh, enterprise customers across the GCC. We've initially invested a million and a half dollars in uh, setting up our initial uh, uh, point of presence in Bahrain. It's been very successful so far for the last two years. We've hired over 250 uh, Bahrainis. We have around 92% Bahrainization. We have around 45% uh, female labor force. We've been established for about four years in Hong Kong and uh, we work together with the EDB to build our regional office for the whole region, for the MENA region here in Bahrain. It's been a great experience so far. Uh, we brought in our human capital and our education and our uh, knowledge of manufacturing and working in IoT. And it's been a great experience so far. I think uh, Bahrain has amazing talent. Our project is actually divided into two uh, you know, versions. The first one is an uh, oil and gas uh, construction business. Uh, and then the second one is a uh, pipe manufacturing plant in Bahrain. The total investment for these both jointly is uh, uh, more than 30 million US dollars. The investments span key strategic growth sectors, including ICT, the highest attractor of inward investment, manufacturing attracting a fifth of the total investment, transport and logistics, tourism and financial services. We have presence in Bahrain since 2002. Bahrain has one of the best uh, infrastructure within the region. We used to have presence in Qatar and Dubai. We wind up our op operation and moved back to Bahrain. Uh, especially Central Bank of Bahrain 
has one of the best uh, both legal and regulatory environment. It provides one of the best environment to the investors in Bahrain. The support we get from the authorities from all over is, uh, is the best part of uh, investing in Bahrain. Uh, uh, we have six hypermarkets. We're opening more hypermarkets. We're the largest employers of Bahrainis as a retailer. And we continue to expand uh, our businesses in, in this great country. Bahrain is in a unique position to attract investments from international and regional companies seeking to access opportunities across the GCC markets thanks to the kingdom's strategic location and highly supportive regulatory environment which provides businesses with advanced infrastructure, low operating costs and highly trained local workforce. The EDB celebrates a record year for inward investment in 2017 with investors who have been part of this success within its mandate to act as a catalyst for economic diversification, growth and job creation. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghafoor. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah and starting with the local stocks as Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,332.73 points marking an increase of 0.22 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the commercial banks. Investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 49% of total shares. 54 transactions included 1,536,519 shares worth 274,752 Bahraini dinars. The Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry BCCI Chairman Khalid Al Muayyid expressed his deep appreciation and pride for the vital support received from the wise leadership. An active partner in the economic development and reform, Al Muayyid said that the Chamber's uh, Board of Directors uh, has sought to expand the representation of the various economic sectors in the Chamber through committees and business councils, which are considered the main support of the Board of Directors in the implementation of the Council's plans and policies. Al Muayyid explained that the Board of Directors was keen to provide full support to the communities.